Welcome to another Midweek Bonanza. Bonanza. Today, me and Stu are on top pool. It's, an, it's a Thursday night, our normal, our normal Bonanza night. And um, I'm fishing solely for the cats because I've still not had a cat out of here um, this year. So I'm going to have a go for the cats. And I want one of them big ones. And um, Stu has got one out for the cats and one out for the carp. We're fishing in the um, middle two swims, or the middle of the lake anyway. Stu's got one exactly where he had it last time. I think his catfishy one's down to the left. And then he's got one, his carp rod, on his favourite spot on the corner of the island there, where he was having all that fizzing um, last time. And he had them, yeah, did he have one or two? Uh, I can't remember. I think he had a, definitely had one fish anyway. I think he had two runs, one fish. So yeah, he's got one back out there. And I'm just a bit up from him, fishing here. I was going to go down the bottom end, but I changed my mind last minute. So, and I've got one to the front of that island there. And then the other one is like to the far like to the middle of the island just off it so they're both on the island but quite far apart so yeah got one out there i might move one of them into the middle of the channel later but i don't know i don't know yet well, they're both on well i'll tell you what i'll show you where i'm fishing on now i'm trying something different today for the cats i'm fishing on um dead bait and a bit of chopped bit of chum a bit of chum as the americans say isn't it so yeah, I've got a bit of um, a bit of chum in there. Oh, that's my tea for in about 10 minutes. Chili fire noodles, extreme temperature. So they should be nice and spicy. So yeah, that's where that's where we're fishing. I've had nothing yet. Well, it's a bit early for me. I'm not really expecting anything. Stu has had a couple of liners from that corner of the island like last week, last time, not being fishing together for a couple of weeks I've been away we missed a week because um, I, I went away Friday to Friday so that took two weeks out so it's two weeks since we've been out together it's a lovely lovely night tonight time's getting on a bit it's late I think it's gone eight o'clock now got here a little bit later than we liked but not due to traffic just due to work um, so yeah we got, got um, here a bit later than we wanted to but it, don't, it doesn't matter for me anyway, catfishing. I don't don't feel like I'm missing out that much getting here a bit later. Well, it's just nice to have a bit more of a chill when you get here. Well, yeah, nice night. A bit windy. But, uh, yeah, it's dry. That's the main thing. After my holiday in um, Devon, and it never stopped raining. Well, I think it rained every day anyway. But So it's nice to have a bit of dry weather. And... Um, I've had a brew, but well, I've not had my tea yet, so I'm going to stick them noodles on in a minute and um, get some scran down me. So, I'll have some to eat and uh, I'm going to see Stu in a minute. Hang on. There's the man himself. There's the man himself. <laughs> Look at the guns on that lad. You can tell he's been training. Look at them. Look at them. He's hammered that vending machine. <laughs> so, what are you expecting tonight, Stu? Well, I'm expecting a carp on this right rod because it's not sure. Well, I've just been saying you've had a few liners, haven't you? Yeah, but I don't know. I'm hoping the putty hasn't come off my rig. Oh, yeah. And I've been getting liners. Cause well, you're on Ronnie rig, aren't you? I'm not running on another rod. Rodding, rodding, rodding. Rodding, rodding, rig. rodding, 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 rodding. No, Has it? No, it's still, it's still on. It's intact. May as well show your rig while you're here. Nothing um, too technical, is it? No. Ronnie, bit of putty, and a lead. Nothing and that's a bit of tubing. Uh, I always use tubing now. I don't know why. I think it's because I don't want to keep swapping it. You know when we go catfishing. One thing I've never used because I've not really been into carping that long is lead core. I've always just just used that because as a, like most waters don't let you use lead core, do they? So nah. I've always just used big tubing. In yeah, it. I've just started using it all the time now. It? I think the hardest thing about using it's it threading it. it. <laughs> I know you thread need one of them threaders, don't you? The absolute backside, but once you've got them on them little threaders and you've got used to doing it yeah it's, it's quite easy isn't it you've got them so, so we're expecting a fish do um 
I'm expecting medium confidence. I'm expecting a couple of them to be quite honest with the game. A couple, bloody hell. Yeah. Oh well, at least somebody's confident. I'm going to put this in my secret stuff now. Can we see your secret mix? Yeah. Yeah, you can see my secret mix if you want. Oh, you mean that secret mix? No, I've got my secret mix is over. Your hemp? Is that hemp oil, that? That's hemp oil, yeah. And this is his secret mix what he caught on last time. Oh, look at that. I'm going to have, let's have a look. Bad boy there, isn't it? Secret Hang mix. on, let's go the right way. Look at that. Nice. Cooked with garlic and paprika. Garlic. Sounds good, that, Stu. Mini cart buffet there. I was just a bit unsure with all them liners on that before I was a bit unsure that whether the putty had come off and my me, me pop-up was just in about eight inches in the air. <laughs> like a zig, yeah, a like Ronnie a zig. zig. Yeah, a Ronnie zig. <laughs> well, well, it's, it's early days, yeah, we've got, oh, we'll have some eating in a minute, I'm starving, we'll have them ninja noodles me in a minute. Ninja noodles, <laughs> get them grubbing around here, eh? Yeah. So, <laughs> I've been stood here for the last 20 minutes thinking, the, the the depth of that bank to the water. I think water level's in, down, innit? Yeah, near, it's about, what, two and a half foot At least. the water. Kneeling in nettles, I mean, my hands are stung to death. I thought, how can I get that boat in the water? <laughs> it's a good idea. In and out, and I thought, I know. I'm, I was always an hooked up champion at the fair. <laughs> so, I'll do this. <laughs> That's a good idea. You like that, do you, Greg? Yeah, I like it. I just like the way you're balancing everything now. <laughs> do you want me to do the rod? No. You just caught me out. <laughs> well, I like that, Stu. It's good, though. I like that. <laughs> Saves your back and everything. Saves your back. Go on. Right on the edge of the island. You do know your forwards and your backwards, yeah. <laughs> Just trying to get it's in that it's on it's on that on that um ball rush, isn't it? You know it was dead hard when we was on founders that time and that, that little yeah, gap was, that was so hard fishing that best, it? two in two in morning trying to watch your lines not going round. But this was just as bad last time. We was on here. I know, they've widened it out now, haven't they? Opened it all out now, it's well better. Well better. This is going to produce a, be a bite. You think? By the time I've made my tea, this is going, this is screaming off. And that ghost it, I'm going to have that ghost cart. My old arch enemy. What can we call him? I don't know, but every time you say that, when we used to go pike fishing, we used to catch bugger on blank. Every no, time we went know. the rivers. We had a bit of a spooky doing with BT, didn't we? We did, but the year after we did crap, didn't we? There's my particle. There's it gone. There's my ronsters. Be a good cast that, wouldn't it, to get that close? Yeah. Casting, them days are gone now, aren't they? Are they? Yeah. It's casting for cheating, it's casting yeah, cheating, cheating now, is it? casting, isn't it? <laughs> Problem is, if you use your boat loads when you come to cast, you can't do it, yeah, it's good. Well, I'm probably at that stage now. <laughs> well, you could never cast anyway, could you? No. <laughs> I don't know never cast. Nah, I've seen you casting on the river, Stu. You're, um, you you're good, aren't you? It's in that far bank. Snapping your rod. Snapping your rod. Snatching, snapping your dwarf rod on Ribble. <laughs> Three times. That was funny, that. Well, it wasn't funny, was it? It was for you. Spectating. Traps are set. Oh. So, can I retrieve the boat with the method? Oh, there. Let's see it. Let's see it in action. It's like going into dry dock, isn't it? Yeah. It's like the Merck, Alabama. Pressure's on now, Stu. You said you was champion of well, so we'll, if, see. we'll see, won't we? Know. Well known when Silcox Fair used to come to Manchester. They'd Did they ban you? A picture of me <laughs> saying wanted dead or alive. Fuck a duck champion. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, I'll take oh, it. Oh, look at that, I'll take it. You like that, do you? I do. You'll see everyone doing that soon. That's it. I'm going to start marketing these. <laughs> There's something wrong with, with this lad, honestly. There's something wrong with him. I'm here, t shirt, and Stu. <laughs> He's just he's just game ready now. He's got what have you got on there? He's got his Pants, suit on, his jumper, fleece. Coat. Uh, I I don't know how he gets so cold. Listen, <laughs> I don't know how you sit out in in t-shirts. I've got a t-shirt on. That he's Graham's got. got a sports bra on. That's it. <laughs> Burn it next. <laughs> Donny sports bra. Yeah, I just can't believe he gets so cold. <laughs> oh mate, honestly. I don't know how you go pike fishing with me in winter, I really don't. I'm not I'm not into cold mate. I don't like being cold at all. <laughs> and a hat on and a hood. Now I'm a happy man. <laughs> My god. I've took I took my fleece off before because it was too hot. <laughs> god it's hard. I'm just daft. Right, so I'll get some of each stew done about you and get a bit hungry now. Chicken it's stew. It's half man. half eight it is. Chicken stew. Is it half eight now? Yeah. Homemade chicken stew. Nice. Right. Hopefully we'll get hopefully we'll nick a bite or something in a bit, Stu. I reckon we'll, I'm hopeful for a bite. Uh, I know you are. Your bivvy or are we cooking outside? I'm gonna cook it in my bivvy, save moving everything and then alright. Well, Stuzy, I think it's nearly bedtime. Five to ten. Definitely bedtime for me anyway. And me. I think I'm going to watch something for half an hour and then get my head down. What are you watching? I'm not saying because it's embarrassing. <laughs> Stranger things. I've been watching it two and a half years. I think I watched it. <laughs> Strange. I've got two episodes left. There's your talkie walkie. Walkie talkies, yes. Good idea, these, aren't they? Good idea. Very good idea. Good for. Get a bite in the middle of the night, you don't have to shout across, do you? Nah, I just press the um, call, button. Oh, call button. Oh well. Nice. Quick, got one, I've got one. Yeah, so I'm hopeful for the bite on my right hand rod. I'm not hopeful for the a cat on the left hand rod, uh, to be honest with you. But the whole water's died a death on it. Yeah, it's gone really quiet. No not, movement whatsoever, nothing jumping out, nothing swirling. No fizzing like last time, is there? Just all I can see is fry on the top. It's going down now, look at that. Ten o'clock, the night's creeping in slowly out this yeah. year. It was half, half eleven, wasn't it, at one point? Nah, but yeah, well, maybe not quite that late, but. Yeah, in the morning. <laughs> it was about half ten, quarter to eleven quarter latest. Quarter two, wasn't it, at one point? <laughs> yeah, well, that was in a full moon. <laughs> <laughs> Scandinavia. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely creeping in slowly. Well, it's not too bad 10 o'clock, is it? When it starts getting to 7, it's flipping depressing. Have you got any um, any more tips this week? You, didn't you put out a tip of the, the best tip in six the best months? Tip, the, other, <laughs> the best tip in 20 years of cat fishing? Yeah. Yeah, it's good that one, wasn't it? Yeah, good tip, man. <laughs> Thanks for sharing it. <laughs> All right, Stu, is it? All right, go on in. I'll see you in the morning. No, we'll see you in I'll about an you, hour. Yeah, in so about see you about an hour when we've racked to a To weigh my £30 carp. Yeah. I'm a 90 pound cat. Yeah. Right. See what happens. See you soon. I don't know if you can hear that. It's half past two in the morning and it's bucketing it down. And my coat's outside, so we don't want to run now. <laughs> Stu. 20 past four, I've just looked at my phone. 20 past four, I didn't Mate, know what. Can you believe that rain? I've, I know. I it wasn't thought, forecast. I thought it, it was my bite till I was jumped up. I thought, they're not lit up. And then the, I remembered the ball. I was in a world of my own then, dreaming. So he's hooked into a cat, we think. Well, we know. In easy, yeah. The rain 
the rain has been horrendous on it for a couple of got like an hour and then another hour. Do you want to bring that right hand rod in? Okay. Right, we're back. <laughs> looks are really good in this dude because it's pulling in it big time. That's on your cat rod as well, Eddie. For a change. <laughs> first time we've had a cat out there. Yeah, first cat out of here. Well, we've fished for it, haven't we? You have. I've got two out and that had a tap. Shows it can happen though, it's like when you got an hour and a half fishing. Mate, I, or two. Honestly, I was thinking to myself, I hope I do not get a run in that room. I know, I was, I was awake thinking, oh my god, I that's put all these on it. I put all this, this kex out of everything and slept on top of my covers thinking, if my rod goes, I'm screwed. Well, I, the first time it come down, did you hear it the first time? Oh mate, it was well the heavy, wasn't it? My coat was on you know, outside, I was thinking, oh no, so as soon as it stopped raining, I jumped up and grabbed it before and then brought my coat inside. Pulling like good trooper, this could be one of the big ones, Stu. The bend in that rod. Yeah. Could be a PB smasher, this. I think it's going to beat your 21 pound. Yeah. Looking at the strength on it. Yeah, it's well a good one, this. Could smash both of our PBs here in one go. And the old donkey chokers. <laughs> you believe it though, nothing all night. I know, I've not had a tap. I, had a, I had a couple of bleeps when he once, that's it. I jumped up and then nothing, like literally two deep. You just can't tell till you see it, can no. you? <laughs> Even when you see it sometimes, you don't know how big they are till, because like, it can be dead fat on the body if you see the tail, and you just don't know. No, it's not far off in. Until it takes another lunge. Oh, mm. and you don't, can't, you can't tell, can you? That isn't that big. I don't know, don't oh. know. Oh, not again. <laughs> No. no, I don't know. It depends on its belly. You don't, you don't know till you see its head. No, huh? that is not that good. No, I don't think it is. That's, that's amazing, isn't it? If yeah. that's fought so hard, mate, is that net. That is it on you. I thought that was going to, well, it I might, that was be you might, pounds. you might pull it in and the belly is dragging on the floor and it, you, that's because that's where all the weight is in the gut, so you, you don't know yet still. I mean, it still feels heavy now, even though it's not even biting. Yeah, it, it might be. It might have a huge belly on it, and it's, it's not. And it's, it's not, mate. It's tiny. Right, it can't be fighting like that. <laughs> it can't be. The Jeff Capes of catfish. Well, Stu, it's the first cat we've hooked in here, at least. Mate, that, isn't big. that is that is mad. I can't believe it's that's big. It's in the net anyway, no matter how big it is. I know it's <laughs> nice one, Stu. I can't believe that, mate. No, I can't. Eee. Stu's prize there. Right. Hard fighting cat. 
That was ridiculous how Unreal hard that fought. Unreal how hard that fought. I thought to myself, that's a 40 pounder. <laughs> I was expecting you to smash my oh, PB as it. well. And then when I seen it, I thought, oh my God, is it an eel? Lovely. <laughs> Look at that. Like you said, I think you said you want videos, you wouldn't want to be a roach going down there, would you? No way. Worse than a pike. We're not going to weigh it, are we? We yeah. reckon about. Scrape a double. Yeah. But beats a blanket. It does. It beats what I'm doing. I'm Game blanking. line is all night. That rain was horrendous. If you'd have caught that in that rain, there's no way I'd be stood here. Listen, if I'd have caught that in that rain, I wouldn't have got up. I'd have left it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so bad. And you it, know, wasn't, it wasn't even forecast. Do you know when that when that beat then, I was dreaming that I'd just caught a cat. Okay. Not, here, not here, somewhere else. Just all muscle, aren't it? It's just, even though it's small, it's full of muscle. Though. Yeah. Great, aren't they? Do you want to get your picture? I'll get, you, I'll get your picture now. Just starting to come light. Um, Stu just released his fish. Oh god, 20 to 5 ish. Looks a bit lighter in the video than it is, it's not that light. But um, yeah, I'm just going to try and grab another hour and get up. Got my alarm set for quarter to six. So I've got an hour, so slept alright last night, except for that rain, it woke me up big time. But yeah, right, get my head down. See you, see you in a bit. Oh, it's looking like a, f a blank for me. I think this must be, might be my first blank on a midweek bonanza, but there you go. Tried something different with the dead baits and it's not worked. But never mind, never mind. Um, at least you caught something. And at least it's now stopped raining for the pack down. Just trying to dry my bivvy and uh, before I pack it up. I'm just going to, it's about, I think it's just gone six o'clock now. I'm just got the um, kettle on. Got the kettle on. We'll make a brew and then pack up and go home. So you what, Ray? Did you get your picks? Yep. It looks big on the video, doesn't it? On the on the picks, picks. yeah. Oh shit. Long done it. Well, it's, it wasn't. I think he's going to. Gonna... He plays tricks and makes my fish look big. <laughs> well, good. <sighs> I, just I believe me. The on and then... I was thinking after that fish. I don't think he had blank before on a midweek bonanza. I think you have. Which one? I'm sure we're both blank together. I can't remember, do have you? Not, have you not blanked on here? No, carp last time. Carp every time. One carp. The last midweek bonanza we did was on it, wasn't it? I had one carp in the night. You, I didn't get you up. Oh, you did, didn't you? Yeah, you did. A long, thin thing, long, dead long, the common. What did we do before that? Was that on here as well? I think mm. we've done the last two or three on here, haven't we? Yeah. So, well, there you go. Could be, could be my first one. Yeah, it's still time. Just oh. scoop your net in at the reeds and see if you can get a fry. <laughs> Carp fry. Yeah. Oh, that first brew always tastes dead good in the morning, doesn't it? That's really nice, that. Yeah. I've been awake since what quarter past four, <laughs> and I just when I reset all my rods, I thought. I'll try and get my head down and I've got like lay down and my heart was going <laughs> I thought I ain't gonna sleep here. So I just put a coffee on. I went straight back to sleep. I don't know how you do it. Slightest noise when I'm fishing, like lying or anything. And my heart's racing and what for an hour then? When I think about it, I probably only sleep for about two and a half hours. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, where are we going? Where are we going next week? Hopefully, if our boss lets us have the day off and the weather's not too bad. Hopefully he's watching this so we can see that we need the day off. What we're going to... <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Newark on the, on the Trent for Barble. We're going to do a bit of river fishing, so that's a blank for me before we even go, because I'm... Well, 
No, I think you did well, didn't you? The last session you had an eel. Hey, no, what actually last time we at the Trent, we've only been twice, haven't we? Last time at the Trent, I got that. I lost that decent barbel and then caught that tiny one. That malkin. Yeah, it was about two pound. <laughs> it was it really wasn't a test for them. Three and a half pound. <laughs> <of the years. laughs> nah, not really. It was like a pin waiting. Casting the feeder, the feeder was ever you were cast. <laughs> None of us has done well on the Trent yet, have we? We've only been twice, haven't we? No. Oh. We've been malt kiln twice. Oh yeah, we have, yeah. We went Bob's. Been Bob's once. And we, hope we may be going back Bob's. Saying that, when we went Bob's, we did a, we did a bit of a species yeah. session, didn't we? we? We had a pike, a few bream, a load of big perch. Yeah, we're going to do it again, aren't we? Yeah. Gonna, we're going to do... have any barbel, but... We're going to do two nights one day. I'm gonna get the. I need to christen my new rods. I need to take the cork, wrap <laughs> off them, but I'm not checking it off until I have a fish on it. Yeah. Oh god. Right, I think I'm gonna make another brew because I've put enough water in for two brews and pack up and Amy's see. Super duper particle didn't work, did it? No, I didn't. Even after we put your tuna oil in it. I know. Yeah, stuck that in as well, didn't we? Never mind. Right, try Stuart. You gotta try. Right. I'm going to have a little uh, pack down now, I think, after I finish this. What, are you having another brew first? Or? No, I'm going to put it on again while I'm having a pack down, I think. Get back for work. At least the rain stopped me. I know. <laughs> that was can you imagine, bad. Can you imagine if we had to pack down in that rain, the, 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 how heavy it was? Uh, they say it wasn't even forecast, was it? No oh. Forecast, no rain. Forecast, no rain whatsoever. And I'm not messing, it must have rained for... Four hours last night, isn't it? Oh, total, yeah. Oh. Heavy. Yep. Yeah. Uh, right, I'm going having a pack it down, Stu. Alright, well. Well, I think I'm going to end the video there. It's coming up to the last goal. Going to be, got to be off in about half an hour. And zip it is happening. I can't see any fish feeding or anything, so I don't think it's going to happen for me. Stu's in the middle of packing down here. He's trying to beat me, I think. He's, he's determined to beat me on one pat down, but he has started well before me. But uh, no, yes, no, <laughs> you have. You've been up since quarter. Well, no, it just looks big. <laughs> <laughs> That's th th what a lovely picture that is. Oh, <laughs> he's gone now. So, Stu. Yeah. I think the next one, next vid's going to be um, the Trent, isn't it? If next we get one's there. going to be the Trent. If we get there. And I'm going to have an absolute PV barbel. I am. If I get a barbel, it'll be a PV. It'll be a PV, yeah. <laughs> if you get a tadpole, it'll be a PV. I wouldn't mind a chub as well, but I've never had a chub out of a river or anything. Have you? No. Never done river fishing, that's why I'm so battery. I need a barbel over 11 and a half and a, a chub over. It's five and a half. And I need a chub and I need a barbel yeah. over a pound. <laughs> so, right, so hopefully we'll get on there next Thursday night, Thursday night, Friday night, and then coming back Saturday morning. That's the plan. So we'll see. Right, it's going better than a wet pack down, isn't oh, it? Oh, aye. I'm looking him trying to race ahead. He's determined, aren't you, lad? logged on first, boss. <laughs> Right, catch us next time and hopefully we'll get on trend. Um, and uh, another couple more fish than we have this time, eh? Yeah. One fish. Hey, at least we beat the blank though, didn't we? You did? I we didn't. Right, catch us later.